Hi, I just want to share one of the key important thing which help you to clear the piping design interviews. This is from my own experience and my understanding. One of the very important reason for why most of the piping design engineers fails in the interview is they don't understand the relation between one activity to an other activity. For example, if somebody asks you about an MTO, you will be able to tell that the MTO is to buy material or procure materials. But if somebody asks you to list out the five stages after releasing the MTO, you will not be able to share. So likewise, there are many other activities out there. Say for an example, uh, we can call it as a data sheet or TBE or um, inputs in PNID or we can say as uh, support inputs. There are n number of activities are there. So most piping design engineers, what they generally do is that they go through uh, thousands of questions. Uh, there are some interviews, uh, questions and with answers available in the internet, in YouTube. They just buy hot it. They just um, uh, go to the interview to vomit these answers actually. But actually they don't understand what piping design is all about. First of all, we have to remember that being a design engineer, we must be able to, I mean capable to design some system. Piping design engineering is not only about design one pipe. It is all about designing the whole system. This has got a concept. This has got a theory. It has got some logic and certain calculations needs to be done. Certain engineering process needs to be followed. Only then you will be able to achieve. So just by bygotting hundreds of questions or some theories will not help you. What you have to understand is the chain reactions. I mean the chain process one after other actually. For example, how many of you understand the importance of equipment arrangement? Equipment arrangement is one of the key factor because if you don't know how to arrange an equipment then probably you may not be able to understand how pipe routing works because equipment arrangement is one of the key factor in order to make the whole plant more efficient. So there are other factors also. So what I am trying to say is that when you are trying to become a design engineer or when you are putting your name as a design engineer, the first thing you have to keep in mind is that just putting the name in the CV will never become you, I mean will never help you to become the design engineer. What it is actually will um, help you to become the design engineer is your perspective, your interest in understanding how the design works. This is why most of the piping design engineers works actually. Say for an example, in one of the interview, I asked about why uh, we are using uh, the well neck flanges and why we are uh, not using slip on flanges in all the um, flange locations. There are candidates able to answer, who knows the importance of it, there are candidates not able to answer. So it is very evident when you have such a good experience and not able to answer a simple thing which means that in all these days you were just going uh, with your luck, you are not going with your knowledge. So those candidates who are able to answer uh, were the candidates who got selected actually. And there are n number of questions I can ask. Even in one of the interview I remember I asked about what is the difference between reducer and switch. And what is the reason why we are putting the thermal loops. And there are 2D thermal loops and as well as 3D thermal loops. Why we have to provide 3D thermal loops and 2D thermal loops. So when it goes to this area, so generally what piping design you know, who haven't have an experience in this particular area, so what they generally share is that this is about stress analysis and um, the stress analysis recommends actually, so I don't care about it, I am a layout engineer. No, that's not should be the, I mean, uh, that should not be your answer. Your answer should be uh, like you have to have an understanding of the concept. Say for example, somebody asks about the three dimensional loops or 2D or 3D expansion loops, you should say this loop is actually to incur the expansions and to provide more flexibility for the line. So there must be a specific answer. Otherwise, just by hotting hundreds of questions like most of the design engineers goes to interview by by hotting some um, fittings, um, names and uh, sizes, standards, those are all fine. And moreover, when it comes to standard, we should know what the standard is all about. How many of you know how 31.3 help us in uh, helps us in piping design engineering frankly saying 
very less people knows about the um, the the information the kind of information which are taken from the 31.3 many of us just um, uh, put it in your cv for the name sake saying that you are aware about it and nobody go through 31.3 page by page or cross by cross at least if you are a design engineer you must have to go through that design uh, chapter in the asme 31.3 likewise you have many other areas like uh, b16.5 for flanges and ratings actually so this is one of the very important where we based based on which we uh, select the pressure rating um, uh, table so there are many connectivities are there so we should understand the connectivity just by putting a name in the cv will not work so uh, this is an advice you can take it as an advice or an in, uh, information but this is why most of the candidates fails in in the interview actually you should understand the links from one activity to another activity the moment you are able to understand say for example you understand 10 you have to be very confident in that 10 we are not expecting you to know each and everything actually but at least you understand clearly whatever knowledge that you acquired actually so this is what very important focus on the relation from one activity to another activity and your internal coordinations and the input that you have to give it to another discipline and the input that you have to receive from another discipline how it is going to impact your design so there are these number of things has to be uh, prepared before going for an interview i hope this will this has helped you to understand what is the 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 very important motive of the interview is all about thank you so much i will meet you in another fantastic video see you soon